in the eye. Handoff, Thomas again attacks the middle of that defense. Ball's loose, Lakeland says they have it, and the officials agree. Turnover number one of the game at the 6-12 mark, and the Eagles defense stands up tall here in quarter one. Power eye left, handoff left side into the end zone. Touchdown, Warriors. Taylor again, his second tutty of the night. And the Warriors go up two scores on the road at Lakeland. Here's the onside kick. Kick is down, ball is loose, Lakeland has it. Here they come, you can't advance the football, but here come the Eagles. I don't see a flag down. That was executed perfectly. Yeah, and on a night like this when the ball's slick, it's wet, it's harder to get a hold of, but that just caught the perfect bounce right there. I mean, this is exactly how you draw it up. A little couple bounces and high bounce right there, right into the hands of number 20. He's able to secure the ball. Obviously, like you said, you can't advance it, but great recovery. Play action, Vioto wants it all, has the end zone caught. Touchdown, Warriors! Catch made by Max Moraney, and Western goes up 27 to three. Handoff left side, Jabiro, end zone, touchdown, Eagles! Reed Jabiro into the end zone for his fifth rushing touchdown of the year and his 10th overall. Yeah, you see it here that he just gets to the edge and then he puts the strength on to get in the end zone at the end. I mean, he is met there by number 14, Darius Taylor, who we know can lay the wood, and he was able to get into the end zone. Pitch right side, this is... Uh, Taylor, he's going to break another tackle, and he's going to go in for his fourth touchdown of the night. Darius Taylor into the end zone. And three of those touchdowns have come on the exact same play, this pitch to get to the outside. This time, once again, Lakeland does a good job of containing it, but he's able to bust through, break one tackle, and once he's in front of anybody, you are not catching Mr. Taylor. Number 14, having a day. Here comes the uh, attempt. Farquhar to hold it. And this kick will come from the right side. The kick is up, and the kick is wow. good. Wow. How about it? The field goal is through for Arthur White, the senior kicker. And it's a 40-yard field goal. It may not be a touchdown, but you feel better going into halftime. You feel good getting those points, don't you, on the yes. board. Pitch right side, Taylor. He's back in there. He's healthy, or so it appears, as he breaks a tackle to the 20. Could go. Touchdown, Warriors. The trifecta for Taylor and a hug to boot. <laughs> That's awesome. How often do you see that? You're just running up to the guy and hugging him. I don't know who that guy is. Hopefully Taylor knows him. Even if he doesn't, it's great. This is the second time they've run that pitch play to the offside. And both times, he's two times he's run that play. They're over 100 yards with two touchdowns. I would keep running that play. I mean, I know you're setting it up by going up the middle over and over and over. But you can see, when you get Taylor on the edge, he is unstoppable. Vioto going to go to the air, looking deep, got a man downfield, passes caught inside the five, down to the four. And that is the big target in the future Chippewa in Cohen Entringer, the senior wide receiver in the transfer from Huron. Yeah. There's a pitch left side. This is Taylor, watch out. 
dangerous in the open field. Burns across the 50. Jukes a man inside the 40, on his feet to the 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Taylor! I mean, I don't want to say I told you so, but Chad, I said get to the outside with this kid, and what, what's happened, the first time they tried to get to the outside, they were able to seal the edge, and just the rest of the work is done by Taylor. I mean, what does he break, three tackles at the end, number seven can't get his angle of pursuit right, one, 21, two, the stiff arm, number three. one coming in, the, Rushes him off, Four. number three comes in. <laughs> so great effort by Lakeland, but man, Taylor is impressive.